Hello everybody! Welcome to my channel, this is Andrea and today I will show you what I'm doing for One Book July. To be honest, I am breaking the rules completely <laughs> but I guess they are not really, they are not so uh, severe with the rules, you can basically do whatever you want but for July I thought I would dedicate all my journaling pages to my country, Peru. We have our Independence Day is the 28th of July, so I thought I would do 28 days of sketching things that I love about my country. And I would share it with you. So I will show you the first six days that I did and then I will show you a video of day seven. So let's start. So of course I started with the map. Uh, this is the map of Peru. We are in South America and uh, we usually divide the geography in three so this is the coast i'm from here from lima this is the sierra which i think it would be the highlands and this is the jungle and i added the titicaca lake which is super big and it's a lake we share with bolivia our neighbors and uh, this is the pacific ocean and here I put a, this is part of the lyrics of a song that was written by a man called Arturo Cabello in 1977 and suddenly this song after the World Cup has become a second anthem for all Peruvians because we were so proud of our country and it basically says, at least in this paragraph, it says together the coast, the highlands and the jungle with you Peru, all together like it's supposed to be in a nation, right? No matter how diverse it is. We are all called mestizos. Oh, at least the majority, we are mestizos, which actually means mixed. So I wanted to celebrate that and that's why I wrote this all together. And this is actually this. This is one of our coins. One sol, that's our currency. Sol means sun. That was the god of the Incas, actually, the Inti in Quechua. This is, of course, the flag because I could not uh, draw about Peru without the flag. And these are our colors, red and white. And we call our flag the bicolor, by color, I guess, two colors. So I decided not to do a flag because I thought this would be more fun. It would also <laughs> take up a little more space. And I wrote here also part of this song. And in English it would be something, not literally, it would be I wear your colors uh, in my heart, something like that. So we always say this is red represents the blood of all the martyrs, all the people who died to give us our independence and white is for peace and union and justice. Alright, this was day... Uh, I don't know when I did this, I guess I did this on Sunday. Yeah, uh, we love football in Peru and f we have suddenly become good again. Last year we went to the World Cup in Russia and everyone was so proud, it was so happy and now this year we ended up second in the championship of America, the American Cup, I guess you would call it. And I just love that about um, Peru because football is something that really makes us, make us all just be together and celebrate together and it's something all Peruvian have in common. We suffer with our team and we celebrate with our team. So that's actually something that I love and I wish everything would be so passionate as it is in football. I think people have so much potential. Everyone there is so can love so much the country, so I think it would be great if we use that in every other area of our lives. It would be great, really. I mean, many people do, by the way. But imagine if all nations would do that. By the way, we are about 32 million inhabitants in Peru. So this is part of a song, as well as a different song. 
that was written I think in 2017 that's what I have found and uh, it basically says let's fight together with garra which is claw I guess they mean like tigers you know and heart corazon and this was made also for the football fans so it's great it was composed by the La Franja Brava this is something that I love this is one of my favorite not meals I don't know what to call it entry maybe this is called Leche de Tigre Tiger Milk which is basically the same as ceviche I don't know if you have heard that it's um, our national food dish among others but that one's very popular and it's basically fish very fresh fish it has to be from that day because you kind of eat it raw I mean I've heard that it gets cooked with the lemon but you basically put it in a roll with lemon garlic a little bit of celery coriander and sometimes you can put um, seafood onions oh it's just delicious and we call it levanta muerto which means raise the dead <laughs> because if you have a hangover for instance you can have that if you are jet lagged you can have that or just if you're sleepy it just gives you I don't know like a little push and it's so good it's acid spicy but on the, at the same time refreshing it's super weird but it's delicious I mean it's delicious and we always decorate with some very thin fried bananas I would say we call it chifles corn but not the sweet corn it's a bigger corn it's not sweet and canchita it's also like a fried it's a type of corn that it's fried and it's also salty oh it's delicious I can't wait to go and have one this is okay this is the first time I think I draw people and I'm actually not so disappointed about it and this is one of my favorite dances that we have in Peru. It's called Festejo. And this was created by the Afro-Peruvian people in the south of Lima. In Ica, Chincha, it's just so fun. It's so cheerful. It's just the best. They play it with cajon. And um, here I wrote, this is a song. It's called Ritmo, Color y Sabor. Rhythm, color and flavor uh, I'm trying to practice a little because you always learn this at school uh, but it's so difficult I will put links below because it's also a great workout if you want to maybe do some cardio but also get some muscle on the legs and the waist uh, I will put you a link now day six All right, this is this is a bird. This is called El Gallito de las Rocas. Now, this bird is very special. Uh, it lives in the jungle, the rainforest, and it's so difficult to spot. I went there once with my husband and we were on a bus there and then the bus driver stops because there were there was a little group on some trees there so I think I only spotted them for five seconds but it was very special because they are very difficult to spot. So they are super cute and I mean mine is not like the best representation of it but I will put links below so that you see it. And now let's go and do uh, day seven.
and this is the final spread so I have to do it here because the bodies is right here <laughs> so I wrote the ingredients here the recipe is something about the history of the pisco and uh, these are the types of piscos that you usually use for pisco sour if you use quebranta I think it gets you get a drier cocktail if you use acholado is sweeter and here I put this coin oops do you see it this is the fortress it's a fortress it's called Real Felipe and it was just a fortress to defend uh, the port obviously it's located in Callao that's where my father is from the coast and that's it that's it for this week. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you have learned a little bit about Peru. Maybe you want to do a holiday. It would be a nice option, actually. You will eat very good. So if you have any questions, please let me know. I would be happy to answer them. Until next week, bye!